home tomorrow, we'll see some of the continent's rising football stars take to the field at the Moroleng Stadium in the northwest at the official kickoff of the Kasafa Under-20 2016 competition. The Southern African region's top sides, including guest nations DR Congo and Sudan, will compete for the coveted prizes they seek to dislodge champion South Africa as the trophy holders. The South Africans have been drawn in Group A at the tournament, where they'll face neighbours Lesotho, Botswana and Swaziland for a place in the semi-finals. To tell us a little bit more about the event, we're joined in studio by Sibungile Moki, who is part of the organizing team. A very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Um, my surname is Moku. Moku. Yes. Great. Thank you very much for the correction. Uh, Sibungile, can you just explain to us why the tournament is only making a comeback now after last being played in 2013? Uh, the tournament used to be sponsored by another corporate and they've battled to get financial support. And this year, um, COSAFA team approached PPC and we, see, we actually saw the value in sponsoring uh, COSAFA Under-20 tournament. Okay, and why is that? What is the value for PPC? Uh, PPC is an African brand and looking at the sponsorship, we saw it as a key means of us um, contributing to Africa's development in terms of the teams as well as the countries and communities that it touches. Uh, we are about quality and we appreciate that to build anything of quality takes time and the COSAFA Under-20 uh, tournament platform, it actually provides a platform to develop and to grow um, the future stars in football. What can be expected from this year's competition? Um, in terms of COSAFA, as you, you know, it's 14 member countries and 12 will be joining. And as you've said, uh, Sudan will also be joining with DRC. So there's going to be quite a fierce competition amongst um, different teams. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be um, quite a competitive competition. And there'll be international scouts to actually see our talent and um, there's quite a lot of stars who are stars today who are actually recognized um, at the COSAFA tournament. All right, so you've already got scouts that have uh, confirmed their attendance for the tournament. Mm. One of the issues that came up during the mm. COSAFA Under-17 tournament was age cheating. And whenever there's a mm. football tournament, an age category mm. football tournament, this is something that comes up. How are the organizing committee going to deal with that? Mm. I must be honest, from PPC side, we are not involved in, in, in those logistics. But from COSAFA, I know that there are measures that they've probably put in place in order to actually manage that. What are some of the challenges that, uh, have, that you face to uh, actually put together this tournament? Obviously, there are quite a lot of logistics in terms of putting together a tournament of this stature. And obviously, as a sponsor, I wouldn't be privy to the details. Um, but um, yes, we've had a withdrawal of Namibia, for example, because of financial constraints. So I would say one, uh, fin one of the challenges will be financial constraints. But I suppose that, uh, as you say, as the uh, sponsors, it's uh, not something that uh, you guys have got control over. But it's great mm. to see you putting your, uh, your money where your mouth is and actually mm. developing South African football talent. Mm. Yes. Um, in terms of PPC, we are a socially responsible company. We believe that we need to contribute positively in communities that we operate in. So South Africa is one of the countries that we operate in. Um, so yes, we are excited to support the tournament, but we're also excited that other countries are coming in. Uh, countries that PPC operates in, which is the likes of um, Zimbabwe, um, is coming through DRC. PPC has got um, manufacturing facilities in, in, in Zimbabwe, Botswana, DRC, um, Rwanda did withdraw. We are operating in Rwanda as well, as well as Ethiopia. Stunning, sir. Thank you very much. That was Sibungile Moku, who is part of the organizing team for the 2016 Kasafa Under-20 tournament, also from the sponsors of PPC. That concludes your sports show on Morning Live. The show takes a break when we...